Hello, remember me? Hi, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, I'm Ollie. I'm a writer. I'm currently writing a science fiction novel still. And um, yeah, I haven't been here in a while. So this is feeling slightly strange talking to the camera, but you know, I'm hoping to get back into the swing of it. I just wanted to thank everyone out there for sticking by me, sticking by the channel while I've been away for the last couple of months, three, three or four months now, I think. If you didn't see the last video, I just gave a quick update on how I wasn't going to be around much uh, because my grandma was ill and I was busy going down there to sort of, sort of help look after her, um, be with my mum and that kind of thing. So yeah, I wasn't able to make many videos or any videos really. Yeah, so I said in the video that my grandma wasn't going to be getting any better. Um, and unfortunately, she did pass away back at the end of April. Um, and since then, you know, it's just taken a little while to get back into the swing of things. And we had other things going on as well, which were like some nice things as well. So that's that's good. Um, but it just took a little while to, you know, get back into the swing of work and just life in general. So, yeah. Uh, that's why I've been away. It's meant a lot just to see that people have, you know, stuck around. They haven't just unsubscribed, gone away. Now I've, I haven't made anything in a while. Um, but yeah, not going to dwell on it too much. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to thank everyone out there uh, for that because it means a lot. And yeah, and now I'm back and I'm hopefully going to get back into the same old routine making these videos. But yeah, on with the video. <laughs> cold. Okay, hi everyone. I've got quite a busy day today. Some updates. It's a very white wall. I'll find something more interesting. Yeah, so some updates. I'm very behind on the writing, as you could probably guess. The speed with which my videos have been coming out is only matched by the speed that I have been writing, which is to say there is no speed. Does that make sense? God, I'm really rusty, sorry. So today, as well as my usual freelance work, I really want to get a proper session of writing in. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I quite like to get out of the house to go and do writing if I can, because I work from home all the time. So it's nice to sort of change my space, change my frame of mind. That's made slightly harder by the fact that my laptop is broken. I won't get too far into it because who's to blame? I mean, I am. Basically, my laptop was in my bag. A can of Fanta was also in my bag and the Fanta flooded my bag and went all through my laptop, all through the ports and the speakers, and most importantly, the charging port. So now it doesn't charge, uh, so that's great. But I've dug an old iPad that I had out, and that seems to work. So, I don't know, I'll give that a go. But yeah, these are just little obstacles I have to get over. The other thing happening today is something really exciting and slightly nerve-wracking. So some writing of mine is being featured on a BBC radio show and they've asked me if I would do a pre-recorded interview to go along with the the sort of reading that I'm gonna be doing on the show. So yeah, it's kind of completely crazy. I've never done anything like this and I'm really nervous. I'm also quite excited, which I think is a good sign. So that's at midday and what's the time now? It's five to 11, so I've got just over an hour. Yeah, I don't really know what to expect. Over the email, she just said she wanted to do a quick interview about my work. I've never been interviewed as a writer about my own work before. The only interview I've done is like a job interview. So I'm quite nervous. I feel like I have to represent myself well, you know, but I think if I worry too much about it, it's just not going to come out well. It will be too pretentious or something. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm, I'm already overthinking it, you can tell. The funny thing is, it's actually a piece of writing that I did quite a long time ago. Sorry, the lighting's terrible in here. Let me go somewhere else. It's kind of a dingy day. Yeah, okay, that's a bit better. So the funny thing is, the piece of writing that they're featuring is something I did a little while ago, like a couple of years ago. And so I feel like I need to get back into the frame of mind that I was in when I was writing it. Because yeah, if they're gonna be asking me about that, which obviously they are, I need to just remember like why I wrote it, uh, what's it about, you know, but it'll be fine. I'm worrying way too much about this. As far as I can tell from the show, it's probably gonna be just a couple of minutes or so, the interview, where at least, you know, after it's been edited down. And I've already done the reading. I sent a recording in of it. It's make me proper writer now. I feel like it does. <laughs> Anyway, before I do that, I need to heat my coffee up because that is cold and it's not very nice. So yeah, it's exciting. Okay, I've just finished the interview. God, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I think it went okay. I think it went okay. She was lovely, Nina was lovely. Um, and yeah, I hope I answered the questions okay. I hope I wasn't too rambly or 
God, I hope I made sense. <laughs> but it seemed to get it seemed to go fine. Apparently, if all goes well, it should be going on air tomorrow evening. But yeah, she was so kind about it, and she really sort of got it, and you know, really seemed to identify with it. I feel like I spoke about everything I wanted to speak about, everything that the story's about, and influences and things. And well, I just hope it made sense. I do tend to ramble a bit, so, you know, as you can tell. <laughs> but yeah, I need to get on with some work now, and then a little bit later, I'll try and go and do some writing. Yeah, that was actually actually really fun. So yeah, Nina, if you're watching this, thank you so much. It was lovely to meet you. Um, I hope I did well. <laughs> and yeah, I hope to speak to you again sometime. That was great. to do a bit of writing but I'm on my way back now because it's almost time for the radio show where my writing is going to be featured so yeah. kind of nervous actually <laughs> but yeah, it's exciting Meet the Shrewsbury writer who transformed the place he grew up in and it's Wattle Street like you've never heard it before. Been up for it for quite some time. Should I do your website? Let's go find fiction writer. I haven't deleted it you. YouTube channel. And a Flourishing. Science based fancy novel on the way. Very talented guy. Uh, he's been telling me about <laughs> this piece that he... My name's Oliver Ferguson. I've sent you a piece that I wrote a little while ago. When I think of the moon as it was back then, I only ever remember it being full over the valley. <laughs> He's just brilliant, isn't he? Yes. He's got a great sort of storytelling voice as well. <laughs> we are going to the find pipes, out more about this a little bit later. <laughs> Oliver Ferguson, and you'll find him yeah. just there. I got a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, kind of bizarre listening to that. I'm going to check with the show to make sure it's okay first. I'm sure it will be, but um, I am going to put the recording that I sent in of the story um, up on my YouTube channel at some point, just for your listening pleasure. If you'd like to listen to the show itself that I'm in, uh, I'll put a link below in the comments because it's on BBC Sounds and you can listen to it online and that kind of thing. I don't quite know how it works in the rest of the world, so I guess just try the links and see if they work. Um, but you can definitely listen to it in the UK. It's amazing that I haven't had that kind of exposure before, uh, just based on the, the work alone. So I'm still kind of reeling from it, I think. I <laughs> still can't quite believe it. But yeah, and the uh, clips I showed just before of me going to the library to write, I did actually do a fair amount of writing, which is really good. A little while ago, I was talking about how I didn't know how much fantasy to include in the story in terms of, you know, fantasy creatures and that kind of thing. And I think I'm slowly sort of working that out. And the other day when I was at the library, I managed to flesh out some key sort of concepts behind those characters. Yeah, I'm quite excited about it. So I'm looking forward to carrying on with that and I'll keep you updated as much as I can. You've probably noticed that I've changed outfits several times throughout this video. That's because I filmed this across about a week. That's partly because I wanted to actually include some of the reaction of us listening to the radio show. But also I am still trying to get the hang of doing these videos again. I'm feeling very rusty. <laughs> so uh, please bear with me. The quality will return um, as well as the consistency. Yeah, I think I'll leave it there today. Don't forget to comment, say hi, and like, and share, and subscribe to see more, because I am definitely doing more. I'm back. This is me being back. It's funny, because the first of these vlogs that I uploaded last year was almost a year today, and that was called Why I'm Back. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Maybe this is going to be a yearly tradition. Uh, hopefully not, because it will mean I have gone away somewhere. But no, I am back again. So I'm back part two, I guess this is. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.